Where are my Hero Academia folks? All right, who reads the manga? But more importantly, who watches the show? Oh, we've got a great list of people ready for it to come out here. And we will start off with the great Rico Fajardo! Brandon McGinnis! Yeah! Oh, he's super excited, he's super excited. Uh, someone near and dear to both Brandon and I, Hart, Jay Michael Tatum! Yeah! Oh, I get to sit next to him, I'm all excited. Alexis Tipton! Alexis! And last but in no means least, Christopher Wakehamp! Come on! All right. Hello, internet. Hello, internet. All right. I am super excited to be here with everybody. Yeah, take your masks off. Show your lovely faces, voice actors. This, this is when I get really upset, is when the voice actors look really good. You're supposed to be like dumpy, lumpy. <laughs> what? But you guys are so gorgeous. Look at you. Look at We're all the handsome people. We're starting from a very strange place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, Thank you. I am making sure that the HR is going to have a talk with me afterwards. Yes. <laughs> Makes no but no. more dumpy, lumpy. Got it. Thank you. No, no, but you're not. That's the point. <laughs> oh. No. You guys are. Yeah, she's they're all young us. and good looking. It's not fair. So let's start. Uh, you know, it's been weird the last couple years, and we're glad to see you guys out. Uh, but how has working from home remotely, because I think of all the people in Hollywood that's least affected, I think it's voice actors, because a lot of you have home studios and such. How did that work out for you? And anybody can grab a hold of that I, question. I think all of us are now angry at landscaping. <laughs> yes. Lawnmowers, you guys? Leaf yes, blowers are the natural me. enemy of every voice actor. In the yes. middle of some dramatic line, and then the back, you're, oh, then you hear like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I also have a, a personal vendetta against Mustangs now. Yes. Yes. I'll be like, they'll be like, okay, I'm gearing up for this really intense scene. Director's like gone through what's gonna happen with me. I'm like, okay, I'm ready. All right, I'm in the emotional. Sorry, guys, there's a car and it's idling outside my apartment. Great. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, it's, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Do you start to give your neighbor's dog suspicious yet? evil leers because you're like, is that the one that's barking all the time? You get a filter for that, you copy paste it, you're like, never again, Fido. <laughs> We've got you. The algorithm has it. <laughs> never again, Fido. Cool. Preset it's, it's crazy to me that it doesn't matter when you go in the booth, nope. there's going to be a leaf blower. Yes. Like it yes. does, you could do it at like 8, 9 p.m. at night. It's like, my neighbor is really leaf blowing his lawn at 9 p.m. That's his favorite. On a Tuesday? His favorite is that. Like, he what? does that at <laughs> Yeah, they, I think he just finds out when is their schedule. Uh, they're CC'd on your yeah. schedule, and then, oh, I'll start about 20 minutes beforehand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or my favorite is when they start like two hours beforehand, and you're like sitting there nervously waiting to see if they'll stop. Like, will this be over by the time oh, I have a yeah. call? Yeah, the fake out. You're like, it's yeah, quiet, sure. it's quiet. No. Yeah. It's a so, lie. Oh, wait, it's garbage day. <laughs> Again. Okay. Yeah. We'll just, we'll Did just we just pick up garbage tape? yesterday? Oh, I'm recording, so they're back. <laughs> and it apparently was... in LA, trucks only back up. No, I only yeah. hear <laughs> beep, beep, beep. I'm like, does no one just go <laughs> forward anymore? That's what we've learned after moving here. Yeah. <laughs> and also my like favorite GTA. Is the, like, <laughs> my favorite is the new hybrid vehicles with electronic cars have a noise. Oh, the <laughs> the mm -hmm. It sounds like someone yeah. far away on a highway. You're like, oh, I think I can hear the highway. No, it's my neighbor who happens to leave 15 times a day when it's recording day, oh, backing no. up and doing things. So, yeah. have we all so heard the real. Amazon Prime delivery truck with its beep and it's like, meh, heh, heh, scares the hell out of me every just time. Crying it for does, death. It just sounds like uh. it sounds like one of my fringe bulldogs. Like an. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ha, ha, ha. I'm like, what is? <laughs> who thought that was a good idea? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Bob, or an ice cream Mr. truck Bob. in December. <laughs> I'm like, they're just watching to see when I get in the booth. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, dude, this is my retirement plan: is I am going to get like an anime-themed ice cream truck in Texas. Because listen, guys, listen. You could just drive an ice cream truck any time of the year in Texas. Like, it's literally December in Texas, and there's an ice cream truck yep. in our neighborhood right yep. now. I'm like, this, this is the plan. This is the move. <laughs> and then just, like, I'm not talking about copyright infringement, but just kind of make some of the items sound a little bit anime-ish. Well, it's, it's an ice cream truck, so it's like the clink, 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 clink. They can't, they can't. So you'll have, like, My Hero Macadamia. Kinda, kinda, <laughs> kinda. Oh. kinda. 
Yeah? That's got to be a My thing. My work here is done. Thank you very much, folks. You say run with it. Better copyright that right now. No, it's not Hero 2. It's Hero 2 Popsicles. Yes. Ten popsicles. That's right. <laughs> I'm Just close EP, enough. All like yeah. the Neapolitan yeah. and the all for one. Yep. Oh, because oh, it's all together. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys, this yeah. is the business plan. Stonks, right, right. now. Let's yeah. get in there. Stonks. This is being Invest. recorded. You have to move. <laughs> oh wait, guys, my phone is buzzing. It's Colleen. She says, "Stop it." Oh. <laughs> well, it's good how about last time. My hero, Macadamia. And my it's hero gone. Mac- yeah, and it's gone. Well, <laughs> that actually leads me into a legitimate question Ooh. that has is food related, because. Um, Michael, we haven't seen each other in a couple of years, yeah, yeah, and, and Alexis, uh, and uh, it's really nice to meet new folks, but when last we spoke, uh, Mac, uh, My Hero Academia was blowing up. Oh, yeah. And now, it's so massive that, like, I'm just walking through the spectrum in Irvine, and I go into the macaroon shop, mm. and all it is is an advertisement for the movies and for the mm. show, and it's, it's crazy. Yeah. So, what do you think is due to the explosion, because it was already popular when we talked, and now it's gotten out of hand. <laughs> well, I think the movies have helped a lot. Have you guys, anybody seen the movie? Yeah, the movies. Yeah. We so, were in it. Yeah, me, me and Rico were in it, too. You want to you do our part of the movie? Yeah, so you guys are familiar. I, I play Mirio Tokuta in the show. And I'm Aizawa. I play, yeah, Shoto Aizawa. Yeah. No, Wait, my, this is exactly, this is a full reading of what... Of are you going to stand up for this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so guys, this is uh, uh, Mirio and Aizawa in the latest My Hero Academia movie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Inspired. So inspired. Thank you so much. It's uncanny, the likeness. That's crazy, I know. And Man, you nailed that, too. Do you practice that? And you I'm weren't tired. nominated? I gotta go, guys. Gotta you weren't nominated for that? <laughs> you weren't nominated for that? But I think I the answer Listen, is, yeah. Just, wait, you can't talk about that. A lot of, <laughs> these movies really have uh, increased awareness a lot. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, I, I talk to a lot of people now that are like, I wasn't really even watching the show, and my friend took me to this movie, and I love the movie, and now I'm I'm, you know, lost my life because I'm just binging five seasons of this show. But so. how interesting to like come at it from the movie perspective, see that, and for all y'all that have seen the show, they're like working backwards. They gotta like, uh, right. so who's this back ago? You know back, what I mean? They're like, back ago. Why well, is he so angry? Let me tell you. I mean, I think I think quarantine helped a lot too because we all had so much more time to watch anime. Like, I, I met a lot of people this weekend who were like, yeah, my friend got me into this, or my mother got me into this, or my oh. child got me into this, or whatever. And so people just had so much time to sit down and binge watch anime, mm-hmm. which is awesome. And I think a lot of people discovered new shows, and then people who you know, might have fallen behind on their favorite shows got to catch up, and yeah. you know, because we were all at home for a year. Yeah, and, and I think which, it by also... the way, it's so nice to be at a convention. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, yes. so nice to be out here with so the folks. Nice. Like, there's so, so many nice. people here, and it's great. <laughs> and you're all wearing masks. Come I know. Yeah, oh, look at that, yeah. Bless. And not a nose to be seen. Yeah. Good job. Above the, the nose. <laughs> very well done, folks. Ida's very proud of all of you. Ida, Ida is. <laughs> Can I just say, getting to play that character makes it really fun at cons. If someone's not wearing a mask, I'm like, put on your mask! <laughs> <laughs> like, he said it. He did the thing. He did the thing. He did the thing. He eated me. Um, he eated. I he eated me. Eated. I've been eated. <laughs> I've been eated. I've been yeah, uh, I think it also helps. Uh, the show's blown up because it's good. It's really, really good, and it stayed good. Um, you know, it, it's 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 such a pleasure you know, to work on it long term and see the show evolve. Because we've all been in projects that start strong and maybe don't end as strong as they began. Um, you know, it's the business, but it's really nice that we've been on this thing now for six years, five years. I mean, oh it's five, like six years. And it's still just as fresh and good and interesting, and and it's not afraid to go places to really challenge uh, the audience, and it's rewarding. So it's really, it's helpful that it's great. You know, it was, it's really, it really offers a big return on your investment as an audience, I think, because all the characters have just changed and grown so much. Uh, over the course of the show, and it's it's great. I'm I'm always looking forward to seeing where it's going to go next because they just they, they don't seem to ever run out of ideas. Yeah. Like it's amazing. Thanks, Horikoshi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, that yeah. leads to my next question. You guys are doing great feeding me softballs because this is great. Um, so the manga is literally the same storyline as the anime, but the manga is farther ahead. Yeah. So, do you, as actors? binge ahead to, even if you're no longer here, uh, Brendan, uh, sorry for your loss. Um, 
Oh. No spoilers! Wow. <laughs> so no, he's reading ahead. Will, will there be a flashback? The will there be a flashback? Yeah, yeah. Is that, are you guys looking ahead to see where your character is, or you just yes. want to wait for the script? <laughs> Absolutely, I can't help it. Well, you guys, you read everything. I read it all. I read everything. And see, I'm the opposite. I, I can't. I don't want to know anything. What? Because I'd no, like I to. Either. I don't want to know anything until I'm in a movie. Because, then, because as an actor, I like being very fresh and very present. And if I if I have an idea of what's going to happen, I get in my head about how to perform it. Mm-hmm. And so the way like, the like, way to perform it. And um, and so I don't want to know. I want to discover it. For the first time when I'm in the booth. Same. But, but like, but like, we, we we watch Hamlet. Hamlet. Hamlet dies, you guys. But like the hey, point. Spoiler but still, alert. Spoiler whoa, alert. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> but like, anyway. There's children but like here, we're man. We're still telling the story, man. Anyway, no, I mean, I who, here, who here has read the manga of My Hero Academia? Yeah. Okay. You hear that woo? Yeah, yeah. That woo. Okay. I heard the <laughs> yeah, woo. Yeah, no, good on you. I'm not saying you shouldn't read the manga. No, like no. I go back and try to read everything, but I don't want to read. I never want to read ahead as an actor. Yeah. Like once I've done a scene, then I'll go back and read the manga to relive it. But I don't want to know what happens. It was a process I, question. Yeah, it wasn't a. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like I feel like as an actor, I get a far. Uh, a, the director gets a far better performance out of me if I'm not if I don't know what's fresh coming. minted. So like the whole stain arc thing, which is a big thing for Ida. Like I didn't know any of that was coming, and so I had all these complicated emotions. When I turn to Colleen and be like, I'm doing. What? Um, yeah. Ida is doing that. And she's like, yeah. And that energy really mm-hmm. lent itself to to the really darker moments. And, and had I known what was going to happen ahead of time, I think I would have tried to craft the performance yeah. in a way Please don't. that that wouldn't have Please been don't. as genuine. Yeah. <laughs> so Rico's upset because he's lost his quirk. Spoiler! <laughs> we are in a giant Let holy me, so, space. So I was allegedly. Not, I'm in the middle. There's someone allegedly. in aisle 500 hey, that yeah. just went. If I know about it, <laughs> okay, they know okay, about fair, it. Fair, fair, uh, fair. I, maybe. I, I, while I enjoy <laughs> here, academia, I am not. So a, I'm, I'm kind of in the middle. Thing, so I know it. They know it. That I'm in the middle ahead. between Rico and Michael. So I was not reading the manga at all until I got the chance to start directing in season five. And then I was like, okay, I cannot, I cannot just like fake this anymore. Like I have to know what the hell is going on like in yeah. the show. And it wasn't really until then, because I, I feel the same way as Michael with wanting to be able to sort of like react in the moment. But at the same time, when it's, when it's like, we've got to make character decisions based on stuff that happened last season, yeah. Or something like you've got to know what the heck is going on at that point. I adore. So I see both. I see man, both. Sides. I adore meditating on it, you guys. Like I don't know about y'all, but like I, who have their own head canon of all the things that can happen in the show. Like when I read it and I saw all the things that happened with Mirio, man, I thought of like yes, a thousand different ways that I could craft it. But after I run all those plays, like when Colleen and I were in there, I'm like, what you want? Relaxed, ready, like that. But that's me. That's like my thing. Like I love, I love the rehearsal process You're prepared. because we never get that chance typically. Yeah. Right. Like here's it's like, oh by the way, you're dying. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so p- part of my sort of part Hopefully of my process, not. at least uh, through the really the more intense Ida arcs, uh, where we we have a friend that does read the manga religiously, and would I would go to him and be like, all right, don't give anything away, but just give me context. Mm in the most <laughs> abstract way yeah. possible so that I kind of know, like what Chris was yeah. saying, like I, I need you know, to kind of know what, what's at stake sure. before I'm in the booth. And so he would tell me, he would like, he, the challenge, he'd be like, okay, I'm gonna try to write this down without spoiling anything. And so it was kind of an exercise for him as well. So I would have an idea of what was going on, but yeah. only an idea, but I wouldn't, the actual beats, I wouldn't know until sure. we were there. Sure, and it just, I get that. Yeah. I, I, and that's just me personally. I love the experience of being so fresh in the booth and just having it slap you in the face. It's something so validating about yeah. it. Well, I'm, I'm on, uh, like Brandon, I'm on a, uh, an app called TikTok. Have you guys heard of that at all? It's like got a clock on it or anyway. Uh, it's impossible to live in a world without spoilers if you're yeah. on social media. Oh, That's the reality of true. social media is yeah. like, I, I will do my best to not know what's going on and then I'm just scrolling and there's a really hilarious TikTok that starts off and then the ending of it is like the spoiler of a show that I'm watching. I'm like, what? It's a total bait and switch sometimes. So I'm yeah. like, I'm doing my best <laughs> not to find out this stuff sometimes, and then it's just hard. right it's there. Hard. You know, it's, it's like on TikTok. Hard. Yeah. yeah, it's like a Rick Troll kind of situation. Yeah. Not a Rick Roll, a Rick Troll. A Rick they're Rick putting troll. stuff out, and then at the end, they're spoiling it on purpose. That's the trolling part. 
but it's just like a Rickroll. You're watching troll. something, and There's at the end... There's a special place for those people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's called the internet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Bakersfield, but that's just me. Oh, no. um, anyways. There's like five people from Bakersfield. They're, like, they're yeah. going to meet me in the back, and they're going to go, oh, yeah, you're right. Um, <laughs> it's, yeah. Bakersfield's a wonderful place if you're running out of gas. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> so they've got gas stations. You've got to go. We're ready to go. Um, so... Let's get into your, each one of your characters so, so we have a chance, because I really want to talk about it. So we're gonna, mm. I'm going to start, because it was alphabetical, uh, and I have a list here. But uh, Rico, you, yes. are, you have what I, my favorite one, because it's a French name, Le Million. Le Million. Le Million. Correct. Million. Or Remirion. Yes. yes. <laughs> which, which means the million, but there's a little bit of a, a translation issue. Some people think it means you're only going to help a million people, which means at a million and one, you're oh, out of luck. Sorry, I'm done. <laughs> or you're going to start at a million. You're going to, you're going to, yeah, at least a million. So. Oh, he's, yeah, at least, at least, definitely is the thing. I actually had this idea, uh, for those of you, spoiler alert, see how I did that? No, I'm okay, anyway, <laughs> like, in the, I'm joking. Now, uh, Mirio saved one, so now he's 999999, man. Like, that's, that's the thing. But it's like the sweetest, the sweetest thing to, to look at it, like, I know that... I want to just be a hero and save people, but he, Mirio, is very, very focused, very, uh, 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 a lot of conviction in this person. If you're familiar with the overhaul fight, it's like, you're powerless, says my buddy Kellen Goff, and it's like, I'm not powerless. I am still Lemillion, as he throws his subordinate Chrono at, who throws their own guy at, like, that's, that's BA, dude, that's awesome. Like, and, and that kind of conviction that it takes to, in a world where your quirk is supposed to be what makes you valuable, Mirio clearly shows that that is not the case. It is about what you are about. What is your conviction? What is your focus? Like, what do you, what are you here to do? And he knows clearly, I'm here to be a hero. He's chanting to himself, he keeps saying, uh, you know, watch your opponent carefully. It doesn't change, by the way, actor thing, you know repeated text. When you get repeated text in a script, pro tip, uh, it's either the person's crazy, right? It's like, you know, what, what am I doing, what am I doing, what am I doing, what am I doing? Or, uh, or they're like a rookie, right? And Sir Night Eye tells Mirio, watch your opponent carefully, analyze his moves, uh, act fast. This is like a senior in high school. This kid is trying to like, he's following play by play what Sir has told him. And it is the sweetest thing, because when I got the opportunity to say that line, I was like, oh, He's that senior in high school. He's like, back shoulder, fape, boop, bah, bah, do it. Because I'm committed and I trust my teacher. I trust my best friend, I'm a Jiki. I trust my dad, I played Mirio's dad, Mirio. Like, <laughs> he's got a great support system. And because of that, he can move with such commitment, you guys. Like, it's, he is unstoppable. And so, I forgot the question. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't one, I just said the name of your character and you went off. Oh um, man, which Lemillion. But, but it shows it, how much you love your character, so that's great. All of it to say about Lemillion, you guys, like, uh, it, it, you know, you have to set a goal, right? And he's like, a million sounds good. We'll start there. Okay. Yeah. That's like, yeah. that's high, awesome. High. <laughs> so, so, so then I'll move on to Brandon, because you've been yeah. quiet, and I want to get you involved. Oh, sir. thank you, thank you. You're uh, the only real royalty in the show as Sir. Sir, I, I, yeah. Sir. Is there, there's not another I, Sir, I right? I don't know if he is formally no, uh, no, we're, we're going to say the order of the British Empire. But it's canon. Yeah. It's canon. I'm, I'm, I'm saying it's canon. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't, I haven't read that. I'm not sure. But I do know, oh, I, I feel like Sir Night Eye, the, the lesson of Sir Night Eye, in, in a nutshell, is to not be too married to an idea that you have in the face of new information. Yeah. Which I think is a great lesson. Absolutely. In, in these trying times. <laughs> so, you know, I just think it's a, good, it's a good lesson. You know, like people can get very, very, in, in all contexts, right? If you have an idea and you're like, this is the way it is, and this is the way it always is and will always be, you know, you can limit yourself. And I really think you can limit yourself from seeing the bigger picture. And that's exactly what happens in this show. I won't give it away, but, you know, that's, uh, keep an eye out for that. <laughs> so, uh, how do you feel about your character's uh, progress? Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> but how does it feel as an actor when you see Sir, that? You're like, Sir, oh, you're dying. Sad. And sad. <laughs> but uh, I'm sad. But are you like hoping, like, like you were saying, flashbacks or because like, oh, no one's maybe. ever dead. No one's maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, really, what I would love in my, if I could just blue sky engineer for a second, I would really love a movie exploring when Sir Night Eye and All Might were working together when he was his sidekick. You know, that'd be like, ooh, ooh. Ultimate buddy cop. Like, yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah. It'd be a great buddy oh, cop my, movie. Come on. <laughs> like, yeah. Come on. Just chasing him down. <laughs> you can't do that. You'll kill yourself. 
<laughs> that, I'd watch great. the heck out of that. I would yeah, too. no doubt. And, yeah. well, and Alexis, you, your character has really had a, quite an arc, so several of them. <laughs> you've you're, you're had a, a, quite a run. Uh, yeah. What, 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 what connects you with your character? So here's the, the thing I always find difficult with dubbing. Mm -hmm. Because you already have an established script, mm -hmm. so it's not like a Pixar movie where they can kind of tweak it to you and, right. and you can have input. But then also it's already been done by someone in Japanese, so inflections are kind of already established. Yes, yeah. So how do you put your, your stamp on it? How do we know that, besides it just sounds like Alexis, how do we know that <laughs> that's Alexis, because every actor puts a piece of themselves in every character they do, even oh, if gosh. it's not a massive piece of themselves. That's so what if, what's your stamp? Yeah, yeah, oh my gosh. Um, well. I'm just giving you time to think as your shocked uh, face was telling me I'm going. Most existential. <laughs> I know. So how do you yeah, do yeah, it? Yeah. So tell us, Alexis. Like, how do you do? It? Hey, well, I can yeah. do macadamia nuts. I can do the existential I, stuff, know, man. I got, I, I got levels. <laughs> He's got levels. Um, Hatsume is so interesting. Um, you know, she's so. I always say, like, you know, the show is about people who have quirks, and May is just very quirky, um, and she does have a quirk. But I, I love that she's just so like in and out of the show. Like, I wish we could see more of her, but at the same time, I feel like it's totally character appropriate to never know when the hurricane's coming, so to speak. <laughs> and then she just rushes in and she usually has something, you know, worthwhile to add to the plot that's going on, um, if, you know, for no other reason than just to be funny. But what I love about her is that, like, I am a chronic perfectionist. I don't know if anyone else struggles with that, but I feel you. Um, and so with May, it's very inspiring because, you know, she's very experimental and she's very intelligent and capable and designs a lot of really, really amazing, truly useful inventions, but she explodes things a lot and she messes up. And so I, I love her whole failure as the mother of invention line. And what I love about her is that she can look at something and not look at it as a, as a failure with weight to it. It's, oh, okay, I learned something from that. Well, now I can take that and, and I, can, I can apply it to the next thing and then I can move on. And I, I love that ability to adapt and that ability to not judge yourself for failures. Um, so I just find her very inspiring for that. Um, and I would, I would like to be more like her in that regard, <laughs> not beat myself up so bad when I feel like I've messed up. Um, but yeah, so I, in terms of inflection, she, it's one of those things where in the, in the Japanese, her inflections are something that doesn't really translate well to the English language. Right. And so uh, Colleen uh, Klinkenbeard, who cast me and, and direct, has directed most of my hero, um, is uh, when she had me audition for that role, she had me in mind, and so we kind of played with a couple different things in the audition. She gave me, you know, oh, let's try like uh, a speech impediment. Let's try something like this. Let's try something like that. And so we, um, we kind of worked on something that just made her sound a little different and slightly detached. <laughs> um, so I don't know, I, I feel like May is me when I've had too much caffeine. So um, I definitely have to be caffeinated to play her. Uh, and by the time we're done, I've had so much fun, but I'm just like, oh, I'm tired. I got to sit down. Um, so yeah, I, I think that answers your question. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Say, we'll say, yeah, it was a, it was a remake answer. Yeah. Uh, cool. Cool. Well, unfortunately, I got the one minute mark. Oh. So you, we had you with your TikTok. Uh, yeah. And Michael, we can't keep quiet anyways. Sure. So I feel we got a good, good establishment. <laughs> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, will you please give it up for J. Michael Tatum, Brandon McInnes, uh, Rico Fajardo, Alexis can I, Timpton. I just like saying Rico, Rico Fajardo, can Alexis I do, Timpton, and can I do one thing before we Gracias. go? Guys, one thing. Can we get one big plus ultra before we go? Yeah. Oh, dude, we got it. One, two, three. This is John Glover, and you are watching Fandom Spotlight. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Lionel Luther recommends it. Ah, have some fun. Follow your fandom.